Hey everyone and welcome back to Arna Kona's kitchen. Today we are going to make a sweet recipe which is obattu. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So now over here, I have 1 cup of chana dal. So add the chana dal into the pressure cooker. So now let's wash the chana dal. So now let's pressure cook the chana dal into the pressure cooker. Add enough water. So now let's pressure cook the chana dal until they become soft and nice. So pressure cook it in medium flame. So now let's make our dough. So over here I have taken 1 cup of maida which is all purpose flour. Next add quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Next add little salt. So now mix it well. Gradually add water. So make sure that you don't add the water all together. Knead the dough well until it becomes smooth and soft. So next into this add 2-3 to three tablespoons of oil. Now knead this well. So now our dough is ready. Let this sit for 15 to 20 minutes. So now our dal is done. So now take a kadai and now gently add the chana dal which we pressure cooked it before. So over here you can see that our chana is cooked well. So now using the spoon smash the chana. So this is how it should look. So now turn on the stove and then place the kadai. So next into this I am going to add 1 cup of jaggery. So mix this thoroughly. Mix everything until it's well combined. Cook until the extra moisture is evaporated. So next into this add cardamom powder. Now mix this well. So you can see how beautiful it is thickened well. So now turn off the stove. So let this cool. You need to cool this mixture completely. So now you can see that our dough has been resting for 15 to 20 minutes. So now our mixture has been cooled well. So before making our obatu, let's make the round balls and keep it aside. So now our balls are ready. So now let's make our rubber too. So over here I have the thin cover. You can even use banana leaves or a butter paper if you want. So on this I'm going to add some oil and then spread it well. Divide the dough into equal size dough balls. Apply oil to your palm. So now you can see how beautiful our dough looks. It's so smooth and soft. So now let's start making our rubber too. Flatten the dough balls and place the cold filling in the center. So now seal the dough on all the sides. So now let's start dabbing our dough. So dab the edges well. Make sure that you don't make it too thin in the middle. So now you can see how beautiful our dough has come out. So if you want your obatu to be very thick, you can make it thick. If you want it to be very thin, then you can make it very thin. It all depends on you. So now our obatu is ready. Turn on the stove. 
and place the tawa. So now into this, I am gently going to place the obatu. So now add oil. So now we can see that our obatu is getting cooked well. So now flip the obatu on the other side and cook this well. Make sure you cook the obatu on the edge as well. So now we can see that our obatu is ready. So now take it out in the serving plate. So there you go. The tasty and delicious obatu is ready. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe.